Good morning YouTube and welcome back to another product review video. Today we are going to be going over the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Let's get into it. So in case this is the very first review you're watching of mine, basically how I like to format mine is I will go over a few of the high level features of the product and I will break it down into categories and give those categories a score one through 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best. So first, let's go ahead and run through a quick list of features here and then I will let you know if those claims hold any water or not. The Pack Talk Bold features DMC, which stands for Dynamic Mesh Communication, intercom mode for up to 15 riders. It is IP67 waterproof and dustproof, features Bluetooth 4.1, has a communication range of up to one mile person to person or up to five miles with a group. Can be used with either a boom or a wired microphone. Comes standard with 40 millimeter high definition JBL speakers. Built in digital sound processing for audio performance. Up to 13 hours of talk time or one week of standby battery life. Advanced voice recognition technology for true hands-free operation. FM radio with RDS and six station built-in presets. Seamless group communication remains unaffected by members leaving or joining the group. GPS, radio, and MP3 music continues in background during intercom use. Has the best in-class noise cancellation algorithms, self-adjusting volume, as well as the Cardo community platform for social features, device customization, and software upgrades. Now, after about 2,000 miles using this unit, I'm confident in saying that I can go ahead and give you my opinion on uh, pretty much all of those features on if they are actually as good as they say they are. And I've also brought in uh, this is a, a speaker here. I'm going to be plugging this in to the Cardo so I can kind of demonstrate some of the features in real time. The first category up on our list is going to be the features. Basically, out of the things that it claims it can do, how does it stack up to the competition? And unsurprisingly, this takes a 10 out of 10. If you look at what the Pack Talk Bold, or I need to make this note now, the Pack Talk Slim features the same exact technology, just in a different hardware. Everything else exactly the same. The features that those two units have completely uh, either matches or blows everything else out of the water. But of course, like I mentioned, do those claims hold any water? Which brings me to the second category, which is going to be speakers. Now, Cardo has prided themselves on featuring the JBL logos on uh, all their packaging, as well as on the speakers themselves. Now, on my last video, we went ahead and did an unboxing of this product and compared the JBL speakers side by side with the Cena 30K speakers. Now, of course, after that test, I threw those speakers in this helmet and rode about 2,000 miles, and I will say that my review stays the same. Those speakers are awesome. I give it a nine out of 10. Of course, with them being JBL, you expect high quality performance, and you get that. The only reason I give it a nine is because it still could be a little bit better. I will mention, I am a huge audiophile. I, I nitpick anything to do with audio, speakers, headphones, you name it. I am very picky, but even with that being said, I still give it a nine. It's definitely the best speaker set I've ever used on a speaker set that is built for motorcycle helmets. Volume wise, they're plenty loud and quality wise, they blow the Cena speakers out of the water. So let's go ahead and move on to the unit itself. For this category, we're pretty much just gonna be talking about the hardware of just the standalone unit. And once again, the Cardo is going to score a 10. The antenna is extremely easy to flip up even with gloves on. You've got three buttons spaced literally as far out as they can be. And then the barrel, which also is a button as well. I really prefer this barrel volume adjuster thing dial over the, uh, the actual turn wheel of the 30K on the Cena. The unit looks good. Uh, getting to the charging point is extremely easy. Just flip that open. That locks in nice and tight. And of course, with this being waterproof, that's just an added bonus. But what good is a good unit if you don't have a good mount? So the next category up is of course the mount. Now I will say that the mount was probably my biggest gripe on this product, but it still scored a nine out of 10. I only had two small complaints about it. First complaint is how it mounts. So as you can see, this front portion goes in and then it clicks in. I'm kind of worried about that because if anything gets hooked on this button back here, 
say for example if you're riding down the road there goes your unit but as you can see how much that actually took it's pretty unlikely and then my second small gripe is uh this right here this is where the speakers will attach to also for this video i want to point out that i took the speakers out of the helmet so i can get shots of them and yeah so this is where the speakers would hook up to and then once they're hooked up to that you can tuck it into your helmet you're good to go the reason that i have a complaint with that is that i like to use plug phones. These are essentially earplugs that double as headphones. They can plug into pretty much any standard 3.5 millimeter connection. That being said, I like to have these hooked up to my Bluetooth communicator. That way I can hear um, whoever I'm talking to and block out the engine noise a lot better. But with them having only one, I have to either A, switch between speakers and the headphones, which honestly, I did that for a while and it wasn't a huge deal. It was not nearly as big of a pain in the ass as I was expecting it to be. Or you can go out and buy a 3.5 millimeter splitter. This is actually what I use to record the communications I get through the Cardo. So if this is something you wanna do, just get yourself a standard 3.5 millimeter cord. Actually, this is not a standard, this is a TRRS splitter which means that it has the speakers as well as the microphone or the ability to record i should say and then my plug phones go into one and then i run an aux cord into a digital audio recorder for the other that way anything that i hear gets stuck on that digital audio recorder but that's for a whole different video like i said only small complaints is only one 3.5 millimeter output as well as the side mounted uh, unit mount. Moving on to category number five is going to be battery life. So the Cardo claims 13 hours of talk time and one week standby. Now I haven't tested the one week standby time. I have, however, tested the 13 hour talk time. And I will say that I got but somewhere between 11 and 12 hours with talk and music going the entire time. Uh, that's, that's actual use time, that's not trip time, that's how long I had the unit on and playing um, music as well as being connected to one other person via the DMC mode. That one other person was Uncle Ken. He actually only got about eight hours out of his, but we ended up determining that he did not fully charge his because every other time we tested it, he was getting about that same 11 to 12 hours with the music and the uh, communication system going at the same time. But for some reason, if the 11 to 12 hours is not enough for you, you do have the ability to charge via a standard micro USB while the unit is in use. So I give the battery a 10 out of 10. Moving on to category number six, communications. Now I'm not going to get super in depth with this because this is not a how to, this is a review. If you want to know what this unit can do and how it can do it, I'm gonna go ahead and link Cardo's actual video down in the description. It's super detailed, it's a little bit long, but it literally covers every single thing this product can do in much better detail than I could ever do. So for communications, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. That's just from the experience that I've had with it. Now I will say that Cardo is very transparent transparent in saying that their one mile claim is under perfect conditions, literally everything is, is great. That's usually not the case in the real world. They expect about a thousand meters in real time operation. And in my experience, that's pretty spot on. I will also say that the more people you have, the better the group sounds overall. For example, if I would connect to one person and I was the lead and he was eight to 10 bikes back, it sounds good, it doesn't sound great, but if anybody within those eight to 10 bikes also has a unit connected to the same intercom, it sounded 10 times better. But like we've come to expect with these units, when you do get into uh, some mountains or some hills, somewhere where you're gonna have a lot of interference, that does get a little choppy. But if you're talking just the quality of the DMC intercom mode, I actually have a clip I'll play here for you guys of when I was using that digital audio recorder to record our group while we were up in Arkansas. What you're hearing has com been completely unedited. This is straight from the digital recorder onto the video itself. Asa is recording as well. Asa behind him? Yeah, Asa is directly behind me. Perfect. I'm going to try and get Hasso in front of me so he can get better video of it. Yeah. Or in front of me, I should say. Dude, it's so quiet, I can't tell if y'all are connected or not. <laughs> 
So as you can see, uh, it sounds really great. Uh, as soon as that person's done talking, it cuts off. As soon as that person starts talking, it comes back on. There's only been two instances where we have gotten any sort of background noise. Number one being is when you get multiple bikes together at a stoplight. For example, when we were in Arkansas, we had eight bikes, seven of which I believe had aftermarket exhaust. If we were all at a stoplight and we all took off at the same time, you did hear the exhaust through pretty much everyone's mic for about three to five seconds. And the second problem has been a whole lot more specific and it's just for my passenger when she's using her helmet and with my helmet, as you can see, I've got a bunch of extra crap and everything on it. That's creating wind that's basically going straight up under her helmet and it does activate the mic from time to time, but it did not happen with any riders, just my one passenger. And that brings us to the next category, which is the voice control. Now, this is the part where I wanted to kind of show off the abilities in real time. So what I will be doing is taking this uh, 3.5 millimeter aux cord, this is a standard aux cord, plugging it into where the speakers go, and then that is running to this speaker right here. And now basically anything that is being played out of the Cardo, you will be able to hear out of this speaker. So go ahead and uh, turn it on. Hello, I can bury DMC into song mode, mobile phone one connected. All right, so there you have it. All right, so now we got everything set up. I got music ready to go. So basically we'll just pretend that we are going down the road and I will start naming off some voice commands. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, next song. Still the only that's how fast it is, guys. Hey, Cardo, next song. Hey, Cardo, mute. Mute audio. And it mutes it. Hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, volume down. Hey, Cardo, stop music. Oh, no, it's music off. Hey, Cardo, music off. Music off. There you go. Hey, Cardo, battery status. Battery status, full. It said full. Also, uh, this is the one area where it's, it's kind of hit or miss, is you also can control uh, whatever voice assistant you have on your phone. So whether that be Siri or Google. Okay, Google. Navigate to gas station. I'm not going to show you my phone because it'll show you where I live, but it did pull up the nearest gas stations. Uh, so I think that is more of a, I need to have my phone set up for it as opposed to the car not working. But as you can see, it works and it works fast. Uh, I pretty much don't even touch my actual unit anymore unless we're doing something like pairing or anything like that. So for voice recognition, I have to give it a nine out of 10 because I feel like 90% of the time it gets exactly what I want it to do. Which brings us to number eight, which is going to be software. And this scores a another 10. Reason being is that everything just works like it's supposed to. I haven't had any sort of software related issues to where I had to restart or reset it. Uh, upgrading the firmware is stupid easy. I know on the Cena's that was just a pain in the ass trying to get your computer to recognize it. On this, it's all web-based, so you download your drivers once and every time you plug it in, it takes you to the Cardo website. And from there, you can change settings, you can uh, add your favorite FM stations, you can uh, add your speed dial numbers, you can also uh, name your device so when you turn it on it says your name like mine did literally everything about it has been perfect speaking of software is going to be number nine which is the app i'll go ahead and include some screenshots of this app but you can probably see it on the camera it's huge which is awesome for when you're riding because all the buttons are so big even if you're wearing winter gloves i mean Look at, look at all those buttons. You're gonna be able to, to hit those no problem. I mean, what else could you ask for? It gives you literally every single uh, feature that you can access within, you know, 
Not only are the buttons easy to press, the interface itself works well. So if you go to intercom, everything you want to do within the intercom is a one more button press once you get to this menu. So it's not go to this menu, find this, scroll down. It's, it's boom, 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 boom. Every single one is just one press and another press. That's it. Um, apparently that has gone through a huge redesign. I never saw the old one, so I couldn't uh, speak to that. But whoever did redesign it, great job. Excellent uh, user interface there. Another 10 out of 10. Last but certainly not least is going to be price. At the time of recording, this unit is selling for $339. I also have a special discount code, so stay tuned till the end to get that. But at that price, I have to give it another 10 out of 10. If you look at everything that it's compared to, granted, it is one of the most expensive units on the market, but it's for a reason. You're not spending top dollar for mediocre technology. That's what I've been doing for the past three years. This time I actually spent top dollar and got top dollar technology. I'm not gonna name any names. But in all seriousness, I am 110% happy with this unit. I am so excited I made the switch over uh, to the light side and joined the Cardo team. If you would like to get your own Cardo Pack Talk Bold or any Cardo products, head over down to the link in description. You can use code BNB10 to get 10% off as well as free shipping on your entire order. If you have any questions regarding this specific video, please leave a comment down in the description. If you have any technical questions that go inside the actual Cardo product, I highly suggest reaching out to their customer service department. They're actually very active on social media as well, so you can reach them on Facebook, Twitter, you name it. Go ahead and ask them a question and they will take care of you. Other than that, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.